Hi Mary, greetings from the south of Portugal. Mm. I've been doing this for about uh, 20 years now. I'm 44 years old and I started illustrating professionally back in 1992 or so uh, when I first became the, the lead designer on the, the first Portuguese PC game ever developed here in this country and uh, then I designed software for about 10 years, did a lot of stuff, poster work, uh, created stuff for school books and um, then one day the internet came along, uh, became the, the really important thing that is now today because um, there was a time where there was no internet, kids, there was nothing on the computer we just had a computer and um, when the internet uh, appeared um, I, I signed myself into a bunch of freelance websites that uh, offered um, to, to make contact between illustrators like me and clients like you and um, I got my first uh, jobs uh, on those so I started my career out of Portugal um, doing stuff for um, private clients, not publishers because it's for uh, an independent illustrator like me which works alone um, it's not easy uh, particularly if you live here in the south of Portugal completely out of the world um, it's not easy to find a, a publisher uh, out there abroad outside Portugal um, if you don't have uh, at least a good amount of work done in your own country first and I had that uh, fortunately but um, I, found, I, I found that it was my it was much easier for me to start to, to do books for independent clients when I started uh, this internet uh, adventure about 8 years ago or so um, so I, uh, I learned a lot by taking clients like you and that's one of the reasons that I still do uh, despite uh, doing a lot of other work for publishers here in Portugal and elsewhere uh, Australia for example um, but I still like to, do, to, to accept clients like you independent clients, people, common folks, common people, people that have a dream to, to, to publish a book and nowadays with the, the print-on-demand system you can, can publish a book, anybody can be an author so uh, I have a lot of uh, pleasure in creating books for um, the common people, the common folk because um, if my heart uh, helps someone's dream to, to to, to turn into reality uh, that's a plus and that's something that I really really love to do oh by the way if you hear a meow somewhere here it's my cat which is meowing constantly driving me crazy uh, where was I? Uh, and so that's the reason why I, 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 take, I still take clients, independent clients, I like um, I like meeting people like you, Mary. I like the the, um, the trade that comes out of each project. Uh, uh, if you if you if you have a good story, if an author has a good story, it's something that catches my imagination right away. Um, the book is done, basically. Um, one thing that I really 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 liked your about your book. Uh, by the way, it was the, the best book I had to illustrate uh, last year. Uh, I've illustrated about 10 or so uh, other projects. Um, but uh, your book was my favorite because for a simple reason. It's very easy. I, I, as an illustrator, uh, what I really, really hate the most is to create uh, human characters. Um, and 90% of the books that get offered for me to do, independent or by publishers anyway, um, they're books based on human characters, on day-to-day -day, uh, tasks, day-to-day -day life, 
which is something as a, an illustrator that doesn't appeal that much to me. It doesn't. It isn't fun for me. I don't uh, don't have any pleasure in uh, depicting reality. Uh, uh, kids at school, kids playing at the park, kids, uh, uh, parents driving kids home, uh, uh, all that stuff. I, I do it for personal, for professional reasons because it's most of the work I get in illustration uh, for children book market and ed educational projects that uh, I do. Uh, but it's not something that I do for pleasure. And when a book like yours, which has a totally alien world, doesn't have any human characters, and uh, there's a universe that I can help create by myself, by my own art. I, I take it. I don't mind if, uh, if it, the pay isn't as high as if I was uh, doing a job for a, a company, for um, a publisher. But um, as long as I, I can do other books for, for publishers, I can get money from publishers, I can get uh, uh, income from other sources. So... Uh, it's not in, in independent cases like yours, in, in independent books like Mary's book. It's not about the money. It's about the the fun I have creating a universe. If a book appears that has a universe for me to create, and if there's a way that I can mix my universe, my vision of the author's universe, uh, using my artwork, I accept the the book. Um, of course, I have to 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 live. I have my my time has has to to get paid because it takes a lot of time to create a book. Uh, people usually don't, don't, don't even realize how much, much time consuming it is to, to do a single page of a single book. Uh, it can vary from uh, 8 hours to 20 something for just a single image, uh, depending on details. So, um, the only reason, if I could, I, I do this type of books like Mary's book for free. Uh, but uh, I have to live, and my time has to be uh, to be paid, or, or else I would spend time, and uh, I couldn't afford anything on my life. So, uh, but I really love the the type of books that Mary sent me, sent me because um, because of that. What the thing I really like to do most is uh, create universes, create uh, imaginary landscapes, create my own vision of reality. Um, I don't like to do human characters, uh, characters because I find them. I don't find any imagination on human characters. I know there's a lot of people that do amazing work creating warriors, elves, uh, uh, everything human based. Uh, they they are excellent at drawing clothes, for example, uniforms and all that stuff. But that I like to see those those type of works. I admire a lot of those astor, artists. But uh, as an illustrator, that type of work doesn't appeal to me at all. So I try to f accept books that uh, have the least human characters possible in them. Um, and Mary's book didn't have didn't have any human characters in them, so it was the perfect match. A great universe, a cloudy universe, and uh, a bunch of non-human characters. And uh, I could do all that thing in a cartoon style, so... It was like a perfect combination for me. Uh, if I could have uh, more books like this, uh, I would be happy to do only Mary's books for the entire year, if I, if, if possible. So uh, that's why I, I told Mary to write a sequel soon, because I want to get back to this universe as soon as possible. Um, this is really, really fun to do. So... And uh, that's the main reason I accepted the, the book. He, I, I, when I read the book, I uh, immediately got the, um, the visuals in my head. It was one of those instant books. Uh, if I get one of these books, then when I read it, I see the whole book entirely in my head. I do it. I don't even care about anything else. If I have time to do it, even if the money is not mu much, I, I'll do it anyway. Um, because for me, it's about the creation. Um, and that's what happened with your book. I saw the, the story so much fun, so w with so much potential to do a lot of other things. You can pick that book and you can turn it into, like we've talked before, you, you can turn it into a, an app for a, the iPad, an interactive book. You can do games with it. We can you can create activities for for kids, educational stuff with that characters, those characters. 
and um, you have an endless universe in your hands right now, even if it's in the, in the form of a simple book. So I like when I when I find the, uh, a work like that, uh, a creation like that, that it was not made by me, the, the original story or the original concept, but which allowed me to put my own universe into it. Uh, we mixed universes. So when we mixed those universes and the, the, the things turned out as good as I think they, they, they came out this time, uh, it's really, really fun for me to, to, to keep doing this. If there's another author out there somewhere which has that kind of books, uh, that's, those are the books I, I'm, I first uh, immediately want to accept to, to create because uh, I have a lot of fun uh, creating a universe from from scratch, almost from using only the words that the, the writer wrote, and that is a lot of fun. Uh, so my my specialty, if you can, uh, you can say that my specialty are imaginary landscapes. Uh, I'm now working in a bunch of uh, independent pictures for to create some posters on uh, all that type of stuff. And I'm doing mainly um, fantasy landscapes, science fiction landscapes, everything that has not uh, does not involve human interaction. I do a lot of um, talks in schools about illustration for the kids, um, and one of the questions that I get uh, asked the most is, uh, "How do you start if you're a kid?" How do you start and you want to be an illustrator in the future, you like to draw? How do you start to, to, to do stuff like this? And um, a lot of people still think that you have to spend a lot of money in high-tech equipment to, to be able to, to create images like I do, uh, which isn't true. Uh, you don't have to have a lot of money to buy uh, the most expensive equipment you can find to create images or be an illustrator. It's very cheap to be an illustrator if you can afford a simple uh, common computer. Um, as long as you spend a little bit of money on memory, which is what you must have for the computer to handle the, the big size files you need to, to create. Uh, other than that, you don't need a supercomputer to, to, to do illustration work. You just need a regular laptop computer. Um, and then you buy a, a digital table like uh, with a digital pen like uh, eh, this one so a table like this one a digital pen like this one which comes with a table uh, a computer, a laptop computer or a, a common computer and um, some illustration software that uh, you find on the web uh, there's a lot of free stuff, um, but if you can afford it for about $24 or so, uh, buy something called Art Rage, uh, Art Rage, um, which is the software I use to, to create uh, your book, the, the book from Mary's book. So it simulates watercolors, it simulates paper, it simulates acrylics, it simulates all the materials you can think of. Uh, and you can draw in that software as you do as you did on a real paper. Um, if you're going to if you want to be an illustrator, my advice is first try to learn to do it on real real paper, real paints, real pencils, real watercolors. Once you you feel comfortable on using those materials, you can move to digital, or you can try do both things at the same time. But I I recommended that you try to do a lot of drawings in sketch pads and go to to a garden, bring your sketch pad, your pencil and draw a lot, paint a lot. And when you feel comfortable, then you get one of these, go to your computer, get a really nice software and uh, start to, to try to create what you did uh, traditionally, but in on the computer. And you will see if you try to start traditional, it will be much, 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 much easier to to do to paint on the computer later on because you have to have the the basics from drawing, which you learn anywhere. So 
don't 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 spend a fortune on computers. Don't try to find the most high tech stuff you can find, because you don't need it. You just need your imagination, pen, pencils, and uh, paper, and uh, good software, and you can start sketching your imagination into into the screen. And who knows where you end up in a couple of years from now, or 10 years from now or so. Because I started from scratch too. Uh, I don't have uh, an art degree. I, I started, I had a good portfolio, built a, a good portfolio, did a lot of drawings for nothing, just for fun, which is the secret. And um, build a lot of stuff to show to future clients. Then I start showing my stuff on the, on the web. People liked it, people started to hiring me, and uh, things took off from there. And uh, this is where I am now. So, um, I'm waiting for Mary's sequel of the, the book. Mary, sequel, book, sequel. That's it. Um, now, I think I have an idea. Uh, I don't know if I, if Mary has time to, to show this entire video or not. Uh, maybe it's going for too long now, but um, I'm going to try to do um, a demonstration of how I did the illustrations for Mary's book. So I'm going to switch this video off right now, here, at this point. And the next images you'll see are from me doing a, a, an original creation based on Mary's characters to show you how this illustration stuff works. So I hope you'll like it. Have fun. Read Mary's book. Ask Mary for a sequel. Ask Mary for a sequel. And um, I think uh, maybe we'll see each other on the sequel presentation, I guess. Uh, hope you had fun. I hope you're not asleep still looking at these videos and um, thank you Mary for asking me to do this because I rarely do these kind of videos for the web and uh, I don't even know how to edit this stuff right now so I have to figure out um, and that's it what you're looking at now is um, it's basically how Art Rage works. Uh, the sketch you're looking at the screen, uh, it's not one of the original drawings I did for Mary, but uh, it's just a drawing I did a couple of hours ago, just to show you how Art Rage works. And as you can see, uh, I'm using a pencil tool. This pencil tool is a digital tool, but it works like a, a real tool, a, re a realistic tool, a realistic pencil, that is. Uh, so now I'm sketching the characters. Uh, there's a lot of ways to the, these type of sketches. Uh, I could base everything on geometric forms and all that, but uh, I'm not going to, to give a, a class on illustration now, so this is just for you to see how basically I do the, the, the illustrations in ArtRage. Uh, right now I did the pencil sketch and I'm doing the, the layout uh, with ink. Uh, like with an ink pen, it's like a realistic ink, ink pen, but uh, in digital also, it's one of another of the tools in ArtRage. So I'm doing the outline in the characters, uh, so I can color them later in a couple of minutes, as you will see. Um, and there's not much difference between doing this in uh, Sketchpad, traditional Sketchpad, and on on a computer. I'm using that pen and pad I showed you on the video earlier on, so it works just like a, a traditional pen and pen, pen and paper, and pencil and paper, and or pen and paper. Um, now I'm applying color. I'm using a digital watercolor uh, because it's digital. I can cross, go across all the the boundaries, all the the layout boundaries, and then delete it afterwards, as you were seeing are seeing on the on the video right now. Uh, I'm adding another layer so I can put some shades, some shadows with a darker tone of uh, the other watercolor. And then apply uh, another ink pen to do some effects and uh, give form and substance to the character. Uh, it's it's the, the little details that do the personality sometimes. 
for the the Thunder character, um, it's basically the same. I'm adding watercolor, a base watercolor, another layer to create another additional shadows in a darker color. Uh, delete what's out of the boundaries. Then get a, a digital ink digital pen and add uh, more details in this case some white bright sparkles and all that just to give it volume some shadow and basically that's it this is how I do the the characters this is a, a rough version but it's more or less the same process now I'm adding some background just to, to keep things more interesting uh, and you can see how I did the, the clouds background on the book but uh, in this case it's a bit rough and uh, it's not exactly how it's supposed to be done but uh, the, the process is more or less the same so it's just for you to see just an, as an example how we can create something in Outrage without uh, too much uh, confusion uh, just applying in, the, in this case a bit of random clouds, some stars and then some effects on the characters uh, this is not much planned, so it's just for you to to take a look. Now I'm deleting what's beyond beyond the behind the the main characters, so it doesn't get too dark or too with some texture that it doesn't need. And basically that's it. Do not forget to visit me on the web. Uh, my website is going to open real soon. I'm building a new version of my old website, so the old one is still down. But uh, pay attention at that address over there, and uh, it will be up in a couple of weeks, I hope, as I'm working on it right now. Uh, meanwhile, you have my Facebook uh, pages below, so be feel free to, to check them out and add me as a friend too.